Today I want to talk about something different. Today I want to talk about a video game console, specifically the CDI. The CDI or Computer Disk Interactive was released in 1991 and costed around $799. To give you an idea of how expensive this was back then, that was more than SNES, Sega Genesis, and TurboGrafx-16 combined. Now, even though the CDI did play video games, it did a lot more than that. For example, with an attachment, you can actually watch video CDs. So, in a way, this was like the PS2 before the PS2. Also, the CDI did have non-game titles that resembled more like computer programs. An average CDI CD could hold up to 744 megabytes of data. For reference, a Sega Genesis cartridge could hold up to 4 megabytes of data. So yeah, quite the big jump. Now the Philips CDI is infamous for having a few bad Nintendo games on it. To make a long story short, Nintendo wanted to partner with Sony in order to make a CD add-on for the Super Nintendo. However, Nintendo didn't like their deal with Sony, so they decided to partner with Philips instead. In 1995 in the UK and 1996 in America, Philips would introduce an online service for the Philips CDI. The service allowed people to send and receive emails, play online multiplayer, do online shopping. Wait, is this right? Huh, it is. Wow, the CDI was very ahead of its time. Now, there was only really one game for the CDI that had online multiplayer, and that was Ram Raid, which was a first-person shooter. Yes, I'm serious. The CDI was very ahead of its time. Unfortunately, it was a financial failure, mainly due to bad marketing and its high price point. Even though the CDI was a failure, it's still an interesting piece of gaming history. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have an awesome day.